Once your frame has been applied, the nurse specialist or a nurse from the ward will show you how to clean your pin sites. This is called pin site care and there is a leaflet to help you as well as this video. Pin site care should be done once a week or more often if the pin sites are wet or oozing. Once the surgical wounds have healed, around three weeks after surgery, you can shower the frame and the limb on each dressing change day. Once you have removed the old dressings, you can use your own usual shampoo or shower gel and give the limb and frame a good clean. Rinse it well to make sure no soap remains and dry it gently with a towel. After showering, wash your hands thoroughly and open the dressing pack onto a table or tray, getting all your dressing equipment ready before you start. Clean each pin site with the pink antiseptic solution, making sure you use a separate piece of gauze for every pin site to prevent cross-contamination. Any crusts or dry dudes should be cleaned away from the pin site but don't pick off any scabs or plugs that have formed around the pin site, as these help to close the hole and prevent infection. It's also a good idea to gently push the skin down towards the limb to make sure it doesn't stick to the wire. Cut a slit into a square of the sponge dressing to fit around each pin site. Wires close together may need one dressing with two slits. Gently push the bung or clip down to secure the dressing in place, but make sure they don't dig into the skin or they could cause sores. The dressings are designed to soak up any ooze coming out of the pin, as well as preventing dirt from getting in. You may find your skin gets dry or itchy when the frame is on, so use a moisturising cream on your skin, keeping any creams away from the actual pin site hole. To recap, remove the old dressings and shower the limb thoroughly. Wash your hands and gather dressing equipment. Clean each pin site with a separate piece of gauze. Apply a clean dressing to each pin. Moisturise the skin keeping creams away from the pinholes themselves. Unfortunately, most people get a superficial infection at a pin site at some time during their treatment. And whilst this can be painful, it's not usually serious. Signs of infection are a red, hot, painful pin site that sometimes oozes thick, sticky pus. If you think you might have an infection, you should visit your GP or contact the clinical nurse specialist for a course of antibiotic tablets. Any infected pin sites should be cleaned every day and dressed with the silver AG dressing until the infection clears. For any further information, or if you have any queries, you should contact the nurse specialist in limb reconstruction at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham.